We're gonna take this and turn it into this. And it's only gonna take us about four hours and probably around $650, $700. And I'm gonna go through what I did wrong, the whole process of how I've done this through uh, some time lapses and wait till the end because I'm gonna explain a little bit more now that the deck is done about what happened here. Let's do this. All right, so what we got here is a 14 foot by eight foot area here. And we're going for a no cut, no dig, so we don't need any permits. Uh, I'm going to be using deck blocks. Uh, I actually did a video on a 14 foot by 14 foot floating deck. Uh, I'll put, leave that up here. That was my first one I did with one of my buddies who was kind of a woodworker. This is my first one by myself, so I'm just your regular DIY dad here trying to save some money. I was quoted $4,800 for the deck that is in the thumbnail. And I am going to be making that right here. And it's gonna cost me probably around between $600 and $700. I'm using treated wood. Uh, my last deck I did not because it is covered. This is exposed. So I'm gonna be using the, the pressure treated wood or the green wood, I guess is what they call it. It's all new to me. And with this project, I actually picked up a few drills before I didn't have any drills. So this is my little daughter here. She's gonna be helping us and uh, yeah. My son's also gonna be helping me, so there's gonna be two people doing this job. This should only take us a couple hours because there's no cutting. It's gonna be a bunch of time lapses, guys, so hopefully this helps you guys out. six and a quarter so corner to corner we match up 196 and a quarter this thing is a perfect rectangle so now when we place our boards across it, it should line up but you see we are too close to drill over here so we got all of our bricks set uh, what you didn't see is we had to move the bricks around You'll, you're gonna move the bricks around a lot and uh, we we're shifting the box over like a quarter of an inch, maybe even a couple millimeters, and, and that little bit lined us up. So what we're gonna do now is we are going to measure, I'm gonna set you guys down here. We are going to measure every 16 inches right here, all the way down, we're gonna make a mark. And then if you don't have one of these, if you have a tape measure, if you look, every 16, there's that red dot. 32 there's a red dot so we're gonna they call it 16 inches from center we're gonna come all the way down make a mark make a mark on one side come back over to the other side make all the same marks and then we're actually gonna take this box off the bricks now that we got the bricks in place and we got extra screws in here and we're gonna build this frame off the blocks and then we will put it back on the blocks it might be a little heavy but we're going to put it back on the blocks and then we'll be a nice square and then we can just run our boards over so yeah this is a piece of cake starting to run out of light here but uh we have two blocks down there's gonna be a walkway right here and then a lot of people traffic cutting over to the swings and what i'm going to do here where there there is no support i am going to put these i cut these 
and I did this on the last deck and I'm just going to screw these in right here as added support so just to help out a little bit over here Okay, real quick update, uh, day two. Uh, we're three hours in, uh, got the frame done, but these are some of the mistakes that I've made that uh, hopefully you guys will avoid. Uh, that's why I made this video, is to show you guys that beginners can do this, but we make mistakes and hopefully you guys can learn from my mistakes. So we forgot to put the weed barrier down, that's one. And two, these center blocks, these deck blocks for support, uh, we did not put in when we were doing the framing. So after we put the frame back on the blocks and everything was measured corner to corner perfect, we had to put these uh, deck blocks in, which knocked us off by a quarter of an inch. And now I put all the boards across and we're off uh, when we get close to the wall. But I have built a step anyways, which is over here, that's gonna cover that gap and no one will ever notice. But uh, yeah, you're gonna wanna make sure that the corner to corner is correct and you wanna get your weed barrier and blocks and supports all in. And then um, another thing too is before we put all these on, if you can see right here with these frowny face down, this grain right here, you can see this, uh, that's because when it's the other way, the board is cupping and it will hold water. So you want all those frowny face and you set them across and then you drill them all in. So hopefully uh, you guys learn from my mistakes. And if this is uh, helpful or enjoyable, uh, hit that thumbs up and hit that subscribe button because I do little projects like this every once in a while. So, but uh, all right, this is it. We're gonna put it all together now. Let's do it. All right, now that the deck is done, turned out fantastic. You can see in the better lighting here. The big thing that I did not take into consideration because I did this all on paper is that when I measured out the 14 foot runners this way and then fitting the eight footers going this way towards the house, I didn't factor in these boards on the outside right here. So that, that board plus the one along the house, the 14 footer, footers running, the when I was putting all these 14 footers across, it left a little gap on the back of the house. Even though we weren't a perfect rectangle, there was still, I didn't factor in the face of the deck and the back part of the deck. But I was putting in a step, I knew that going into this, so there was gonna be extra space in the back. So that was the one big thing uh, that, that kind of, if you're gonna do this on your own, this won't be a perfect square. You have to take into consideration that the front and the back, uh, 14 footers. But if you're gonna put a step in, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it's fine. You can have that gap back there and I, I built that step. And if you're interested in seeing how I built a step, I can make a video on that. I recorded that, but it would have made this video way too long. So hopefully you guys found this helpful. Hit the subscribe button if you want. You know, it's a pretty easy deck. I do uh, builds like this every once in a while. And, you know, like I said, I did another deck, uh, which is back over there. I'll leave that at the end of this video. And, yeah, consider subscribing and uh, hit that like button. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks.